Fury Ram here. I'm here with a review for Spectacles, formerly known as Snapchat. So we're talking about the actual glasses that you can record video with directly into your Snapchat account. Alternatively, you can export these videos and post them on Instagram, export them to Content Pro, whatever you want to do with it. Um, the only unfortunate side of that is that the videos are in a little circle. Um, so a lot of the corners are cut off in terms of resolution. I really want to tell you the reasons why you should and shouldn't buy spectacles. For reason number one that you should buy it is that wearables create a new genre of content. Genre of content meaning that it is now POV instead of vlog-like. Basically wherever your head moves, the camera moves. It gives a more GoPro-like feel. Uh, to the videos and also it almost creates a visual memory in which when you look back at it it actually looks like a memory through your eyes which is totally cool and I can't really think of any other product that does that besides mounting a GoPro on your head. First reason why you shouldn't buy this is that the uploading is not seamless right now. It's still a pain in the ass. What I mean is that all these videos are stored in a holding pattern underneath so you can see that the video uploads pretty slowly and that's only one video it gets worse if you have let's say five or ten videos that are uploading at the same time it really bogs down your phone um, and the upload speeds but it records in SD standard def and HD high definition at high definition is 720p at 60 frames per second I'm not sure what the standard def resolution is but if you want to upload that into the HD format, you have to enable Wi-Fi on the glasses, then connect Wi-Fi on your phone, and then allow the battery to drain itself uh, on your phone and on, on the glasses itself. The second reason why you should buy these glasses is that they're stylish. It's basically the best camera you'll have on you if you don't pull out your phone. Just by simply tapping the button on the left side of the frame, you can start a 10 second video and extend that towards 30 seconds by clicking it two more times. My second don't buy reason is that the battery sucks. Three minutes of record time which equates to 30 clips. That's not a lot. But to counteract that, Spectacles comes with a case that you can charge upwards to four times. It takes about 60 minutes per charge and it takes about 90 minutes to charge up the case. My third reason for if you want to buy this product is because it's futuristic. If you want to be next generation, if you're a huge Snapchat user or a social media user, I would highly suggest that you give these a shot. Even with its quirks, it's still pretty fun. I've been able to use it in different situations. Even if I can't even pull out my camera to record things, I've been able to covertly click on my glasses and start recording the video. And my final reason of not to buy this product is because early adopter regrets. You'll always get them with a Gen 1 product. They're a little bigger in terms of where the arms are. Battery life, like I said before, sucks. SD quality shouldn't even be on there. And the price itself is debatable. Um, I got them for $1.99 shipped to the US. Snapchat or Spectacles currently do not ship this product into Canada. You have to go across the border and pick it up at a PO box. So if you're considering buying these, you have two options if you live in Canada. Buy it off someone who's selling them on Craigslist or two, buying them on Spectacles and going across the border to pick them up. So after conversion with credit card conversion, it's about $199. You'll see in my future content, I'll start using the Spectacles more uh, just to diversify things. But if you enjoyed this video review of Spectacles, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And for future content, if you want to see more of what I do here, please subscribe and thank you. Hope you have a nice day and we'll see you soon.